Good afternoon and happy Saturday, people. I'm shutting this door. There's so much flipping noise. There's just an unbelievable amount of noise in my home. Like, and my 80 year old mother is like the loudest person in the whole house. Isn't that funny? It's hilarious is what it is. I'm like, hey guys, I'm getting ready to do an ASMR video. And if you don't know what an ASMR video is, it is um, video where you um, whisper in the video. It's very soft spoken. Thank you, sweetheart. It's just a shirt. The shirt is $8.99. Roses. I'm telling you, you're having roses. Y'all sleeping on roses. I'm telling you. I love a bargain. Anyway. So, um, the ASMR is, so I'm sure you guys have seen, like, the videos for the soap cutting and the, um, that's why we can all sit, thank you, Sugars, um, why we can all sit and watch a panda eat a carrot for 20 minutes, that crunching noise and just watching the the panda eat the carrot, that's ASMR. It's stimulating something in our brain that uh, sends messages to our pleasure center. So, um, some, and there are different triggers. So like some people like to hear like this, like the tapping of fingernails. Some people like that lip, like the lip smacking um, thing, that's a trigger for them. Um, some of them like this, like the hands in the camera type thing, which that triggers me in totally the wrong way. Um, but anyway, there are like a billion different triggers that people like. So I've started doing these ASMR videos where I whisper and put on makeup or I whisper and I cook or, you know, things like that. So um, my friend Jackie wanted to see one of them because I haven't post. I've posted a few videos to the Adventures of the Spicy Unicorn on YouTube, but I haven't posted any of the ASMR because that's kind of specific to that group of people that actually like that kind of thing. So, um, and it's not for everybody, you know? And anyway, so, and I'm sorry. I mean, oh, by the way, I am using my little Avon Anu stuff. We're going to see how this works out because I have a giant crease in the center of my forehead from frowning or more, more so showing disbelief. Like, I do that a lot. So I have this giant crease there now that I'm trying to figure out how to fill in. So there's that. Anyway, so I'm going to put on my face. And then, of course, then this gets uploaded to YouTube because why not? You know, but it's going to wind up looking fabulous by the time I'm done. Hi, Christy. So, I said I was going to do something different today, but, you know, it ends up being the same old thing. So, there that is. Um... Congratulations on the book, by the way. Christy, hi. For people to go back and watch this video later on and anybody that watch it on YouTube. Um, she has, she's the author of Peter's Perfect Pipes and they are doing amazing. It's an asthma education book for little kids and it is pretty freaking awesome. So there's that. So congratulations, Ladybug, on that. They've been on all the news channels and... They're getting a lot of good press around it, so that is beauteous. Anyway, so I still haven't got, gone back, and of course now I got the hiccups. I still haven't gone back and looked at the other video where Shanice and Jen were trying to walk me through um, the different brushes. So, you know... Today we get what we get. We don't throw a fit. And 
So I'm going to be using, I'm going to go ahead and prep you ahead of time. I'm going to be using all the wrong brushes for all the wrong reasons. So, as you know, at the end of the day, it's just a, just an effing brush, right? Am I right? Jennifer! Right, 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 right. right. So, but yeah, so anyway, so last night I'm trying to, I told my family before I go to make this ASMR video, I'm like, hey, I be quiet because it can't be a whole bunch of background noise because the camera picks up all the background noise. So, of course, everybody's like, oh, you want quiet? No problem. Absolutely. No problem. Let me go ahead and turn this little house on the prairie up to 10. And then we're all going to yell over top of the little house on the prairie at one another. Oh, phone's ringing? Nope, not going to let that, not going to silence that ringer. What we're going to do is answer the phone and then scream over top of the TV at the person on the phone and tell them that I can't be bothered right now because I'm doing an ASMR video. Because that's how my family rolls. I love my family. When I say with every fiber of my being, I love these people, but they are comical. I wish that they were more comfortable being on camera because, yeah, they're pretty amazing. In their natural state, they are hilarious. So today I'm using my little Kiss Foundation because, you know, I tried using the, I, I did do the base of the Beauty Society, just kind of thin things out a little bit, but ultimately, I like my little, I like this, because I don't have to worry about the streaky thing on the neck, I just like the powder thing. So there's that, this is going to be real quick, this is actually going to be a relatively quick video because... I'm just trying to get ready for the day, you know? So, so, okay, I'm gonna say this because she's not on my Facebook. My nephew has a female friend. And, oh, okay, let me back up some. Let me start this off with a, with a little story. What I have noticed about women, this might not be a short video. I don't know. I feel like talking. Um, what I noticed about women and, and it, it's not even young girls, so you can't even blame it on young girls, is because you can be old and stupid too. Is that even when a man is honest and he says, I am not looking for a relationship. I'm not in a place, I'm not in a headspace right now where I can do a relationship. We can be friends, we can have sex, we can mess around, do whatever, whatever, whatever comes natural. The girl is like, knowing that she's looking for a relationship, she's like, now I'm gonna stick around and do this anyway because you're gonna change your mind for me. So even when the man knows that he's like, I am not even looking at you as relationship material. I don't want to be in a relationship. I want to just, maybe they just came out of a relationship. Maybe they just been single and just, you know, but they're being honest. Um, and they're telling you up front, I don't want to do this with a commitment. Women that, you know, at, at that point when a man tells you that, you get what you get. You know, in my opinion, um, you know, you can't walk around here and say, oh, he did me so dirty. He did this, that, and the other because he told you up front what this was. And you pressed forward anyway thinking that he would change his mind. So, my nephew, um, he had been dealing with you know, a couple of girls or whatever. One of them, after two months, went out and bought him a truck. He didn't ask for a truck. He had just said because they were, hey, Kiana, um, just because they were, uh, he was talking about his car payment, but he had told her, you know, she was like, oh, well, you know, I can get you a car, and then that way you can just, you know, sell the other or give it back or whatever, and then you don't have a car. No, he's like, no, that's okay, because he's actually a man, and he understands the invisible tethers that come with that vehicle. 
And he's like, absolutely not. You're not my girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. She goes out. She buys this vehicle anyway and tries to give it to him. I told him, and he, he agreed. He's like, ain't no way I'm taking that vehicle, you know. Um, he's like, because I know, I know what will happen. I know what the expectation will be. Um, but after two months, she went out and bought a truck. I, I, I'm confused. I'm, I'm, I'm truly confused on, on what's going on. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking like, is, is the world short on, is that, is a man shortage that bad? And is our, what are we, what are we teaching our little girls about love and, you know, that if somebody loves you, they will make the effort to be with you. Period. I got way too much highlighter on. I already know it. I don't need to be judged. But, um, like, you know, what are we really teaching our little girl? Because even after that, like, she cash apped him. We were on vacation together. And his phone goes off. He's like, I'll be doggone. He's like, the girl cash apped him $150. He's like, Ma, he's like, I didn't ask her to do any of this. He's like, I'm beyond confused as to what's going on here. So he's like, you know, I'm gonna have to take a step back from this because this is this is getting ridiculous. So then, you know, I guess there were there was relationship. Uh, and, and he's had several talks with her along the way to say, hey, this is not what you think this is. I don't want to keep you from being the best you. Go on ahead and do you, you know. She's like, no, 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 I'm fine with this. No, you're not. Stop agreeing. Stop going along to get along thinking that somehow you're going to weigh the situation out. You're wasting time. Am I highlighted? Oh, yes. I think I kind of nailed the highlighting thing this time. Shall I step out in the sun? And I realized I have gone heavy in the paint. Um, but anyway, um, so he sent the, you know, when we were on vacation, he just, he hit the refund button and just refunded the money to her. But like, even him having conversation after conversation with her to say, hey, don't do that. You know, don't, don't, um, I don't need your money. You know, I don't care how broke I am. I don't need your money. Um, <clears throat> still just pressing it. And then as soon as he lays his phone down to run through the phone, you're not in a relationship with him. You know, he, he has made it clear, like you can go date other people if you want to go date other people. When a man says that, you get what you get, you know. But, I mean, me personally, if I were in a headspace where, I don't know what the brush this is for, I guess this is the eyebrow brush shit. Um, if I were in that situation where I was looking for a relationship, then I'd be like, okay, and I will continue to date. But she is hell-bent that she is going to force him into a relationship. All bad. All, all bad. So, other thing, um, the whole spending money on somebody that, I, because I know a few people that have actually gone in and bought property with somebody that they are not legally bound to in the and and my thing is so you're willing to be committed to a 30 year mortgage but you're not willing to commit to the person in a relationship and I'm not saying that you can't be committed and not be married but I just think you know, if we're going that far, I mean, if you got something against marriage, that's that's on you. But if one of you, and, and, and you have talked it over that there is not going to be a marriage here, 
you know. So, and you both agree, I guess, wholeheartedly that, yeah, okay, that's fine. We're not going to get married. It's going to be a cohabitation for the duration. You know, that's on you. But when one of y'all decides to get out of the relationship, that's going to cause a whole lot of problem trying to separate um, property. And it's paying the ass for everybody, you know? Just saying. So then, because I know people that have actually bought rental property, they actually bought this nitwit. I'm going to call her a nitwit because that's what she is. This guy, they got together. And, you know, of course, he's pretty charming in the beginning. And then they start. What colors do I have on? Blue. A little bit of pink. Okay. Um, Doobie. Do. Oh, never mind. Oh, God. Get her right here. Ice Capades. Hey, honey. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm going to call her a nitwit. I don't give a damn if she watches this video or not. But the guy actually put his hands on her. And what he did was they got into an argument. They got into an argument. And um, she was walking away from him. And he reached down. There was a rug, you know, a floor rug. He reached down and he snatched the rug from under her and she had fallen and breaking her ankle in several places. Now she was a waitress on her feet all the time. So now she's out of money, she's out of you know her job, whatever, for months and months trying to now she got a bunch of pins in her ankle and her leg swells. This silly, you know what, gets back with him and then buys an apartment building with him. How does that work? How does that work? I am confused. Hey, Josh. I'm confused. You put your hands on me, honey. That's the end of it. You look, you raise your hand like you want to put your hands on me. First of all, I'm too big for that. Just my size alone. Mm -mm. Like I said, don't let this light skin in a good grammar get you all the way fucked up. Just saying. I'm going to say that out loud. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, but they went on and then like I said, they, you know, then he wants to put her out the house when it comes time for, you know, the whole off again, on again, off again, on then you got to go live with your mama. Mm-mm. Nah. Nah, sir. And people can say what they want to about marriage, but it is a different level of commitment. You know, you don't know till you're there. You don't work a little bit harder. You're married, you're going to work a little, a little bit harder to try to stay together. Or try to fix it. Because it's a hassle getting divorced, quite frankly. So, my thing is, you know, uh... People say, oh, you know, marriage is no different than living together. Yes, the hell it is. I've lived with men before. You can get up and walk out. And that's true. And, and so, regardless what anybody says, that is in the back of your mind all the time. You can, and you can get up and walk out of a marriage, too. Don't get me wrong. But it's a different, I think you try a little bit harder not to. That's me personally. You know? What am I doing here? Um, I'm inspired by the ocean today. A little bit of dark, a little bit of dark blue right there. And put a little bit of dark blue in the corner. One day, one day I'm gonna master this. Cause see, I can pull this look off. I'm I, like, I'm gonna, 
People are like, oh, you're using the wrong brush for this. It doesn't matter. It's all going to turn out to be cute. It don't matter. I live a stress-free life. But I am going to go back and look at that video. Shanice tagged me in. Okay, I think we've got enough product on my face now that we can go back and try to blend it in. There's something with a brush that you probably don't use for blending. There's that. But, oh, it is turning out cute. Okay. Well, swirls. But, um, I just don't understand the mentality of, and like nobody gets married anymore. I mean, that's not, it's very unfortunate that people are just not getting married like that anymore. Our people are not getting married like that anymore. That's, and I think, I'm just going to go ahead and share this because I think it's worth sharing. I think part of that is because the government, the way the taxes and stuff are set up and the benefits and everything, that you lose your benefits, which you should, because if both of y'all are able to work, you should be working. Um, but I don't understand that mentality of not wanting to marry because you're not going to get the, the same tax credits that you would before. You work and you build something together. That's the whole point of it. I mean, it's, that's why you just call it having a help me. Oh, I forgot my blush. My little crazy dollar blush that I'm kind of starting to dig. Um... Yeah, there we go. That's worth popping. Don't want to go for the hooker look. There, just a little bit of, a little bit of a glow. There that is. Um, I think that's really sad though, because you know, it's nice having somebody that you know has your back. You know, the whole sickness and health thing. Although I was told I better stay relatively healthy. You know, we're really straddling the fence on that right now, though. So, we're working on it. So, uh, it's actually not to turn out to be too bad. I feel like the, the eyes are a little heavier than maybe I would have liked them. Oh, I forgot my mascara and my... I told y'all I'm trying to nail this winged eye thing. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. If I can find the right one to do it with. Ah, yes. So, Doobie. This is Doobie's makeup. I got so much stuff here on this countertop. Okay, we're going in. Almost forgot. I like this one too better than I like that one I got from the dollar store. I wonder why. I don't know, maybe because she paid $10 for this dude. I don't know. I paid $1. Go figure. I don't think that's too bad. What do you think? I think I think I think that's a win. We're gonna stick that one in the win column. Oh, and if Buki ever, I'm gonna tag my cousin in this. Buki, this is the mascara. It's the Maybelline R201. I think it's Colossal Nails, but don't quote me. But it's the only one by Maybelline in the um, yellow with the purple band. My cousin, I was getting my hair done, and she's like, are you wearing false eyelashes? I'm like, no, because I can't. We all been through that struggle. Y'all have witnessed. Thank you, sugars. Um, 
we all been through that. So, yeah. But, um, she asked me, she was like, oh my God, what kind of, uh, what kind of mascara do you use? I told her, honey, this bad boy over here might have been six dollars, I think. But it's everything. Chip wears this. Of course, Chip has naturally long lashes. I don't. I have little crappy lashes that are on the struggle bus, too. So, there's that. You know. Do and I are going to make a cooking video after this. We're going to do... Um, we are going to do how to make a cucumber salad because as simple as that sounds some of my friends don't know how to make one and they've actually asked me like hey and even though I give them the ingredients which are about what four or five six ingredients something like that very simple stuff that you have in your house um because I don't put any oil in mine I don't feel a need to put oil in stuff that doesn't need oil that's just me personally but you know do you I use lemon in mine. I don't use balsamic. I used to use vinegar when I first started making it, but then I got, I went to the Caribbean. Well, I go to the Caribbean a lot because you know the husband is Bahamian. And I noticed that they just use fresh squeezed lemon, lime, and orange juice. And I always put orange juice in mine. Depends on what I'm making. If I put shrimp in it, then I, then I, put the um, orange juice in it. But if it's just cucumber salad, then that's just very simple. Tomato, onion, um, you can put diced peppers in there if you want to make it even more colorful. And cucumber, and squeeze some lemon in on top of that bad boy. Put seasoned salt, pepper, and I, I put a little bit of garlic powder in there. Mix that all up. Let it set for a little while. It's everything. Everything. Even the kids love it. <coughs> very, very simple. Hello, Robert. How are you, my dear? Am I doing this? Oh, yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. How's that look? I think it looks super starish. I do. I'm gonna say, I think I nailed it today. I think I did. I think I did. I'm gonna take some pictures later on, but I think I got it. What do you think? So, this thing, it's time for this thing to come off. Silicone rollers. They're like five dollars, five sixty nine with free shipping. Um, um, I got them off of eBay. So if anybody wants to order some of these bad boys too, they are the bomb. And I, I just put them in there this morning because I forgot I was tired last night. Me and Mister went out to dinner. <sighs> it was amazing. I was too tired to fool with it when I got back, so. Anyway. So that was that. But anyway, for a pack of 20, they were five bucks. And I love these things. Plus they're really easy to sleep in. Um, they don't, like if I roll my hair at night, which would be a little bit tighter and I would use more curlers. Um, they're not uncomfortable to sleep in. I'm trying to get this one loose here. Here we go. And here's the way they work. You start out with a little thing like this. You wind your hair around it, and then you close, close it in around the hair. And it ends up being like that. How stinking cute is that? Did I get them all out? Yep. And then you wind up like that. 
How badass, how fair a faucet badass is that? Yeah. So there it is. So, I'm ready to go make my cooking video now. Alrighty, love you. Totals.